serious. You just split my damn phone out like that? Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for, uh, thank you guys. So it's recording. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. As the title suggests, I am here with a, um, weight loss journey video for you guys i'm gonna have some tips for you guys 10 main tips that has helped me through this journey and so i decided you know i'm just gonna share it with you guys i hope that this video will somehow be motivational for y'all if you're someone that's trying to lose weight or you know you just want to maintain your weight or whatever i hope that this video will somehow motivate you and educate you a little bit on some things that you might want to consider if you're going to start a weight loss journey. If this video is something that is of interest to you, then keep on watching. So the first step is you got to have the mindset to lose weight. If you're going to go into weight loss and you're like, ugh, I'm going to have to eat this or ugh, it's just, gonna, it's just not going to work. You got to have the mindset that, hey, this is what I want. I'm going to do this. You know, it's going to be hard. And of course, you're going to slip here and there. But the good thing about it is when you slip, you get back up, right? You don't just keep slipping until you just give up totally that you're going to lose um, lose some weight or you're going to maintain your weight or start a healthy lifestyle. No, you got to be... Um, you got to have the mindset that you want to lose weight. So that's the first thing, y'all. Second tip is sometimes it's good if you can have a partner, a workout partner. So the thing is with this, when both of y'all exercise, it's going to be easier for you because I'm doing it, you're doing it, we're both doing it. We both have each other to motivate each other to do the weight loss journey or to do the healthy lifestyle journey or healthy alternative whatever you want to call it it's always good to have a partner but sometimes you know one partner always works harder than the other partner surprisingly but that's how it always goes but at the end of the day y'all like i said this is an easy way for you to keep going because once you have a partner that's gonna push you that's gonna push you to want to do it right especially if you see that person getting results and all that good stuff you're gonna want it too even having a partner does not necessarily mean that you're gonna be successful in this you have to be self-motivated you gotta want this you gotta be hungry for it you gotta need it it would be like having an asthma attack and you need the pump you need the pump to survive. That's how much you gotta want this. You gotta be hungry. If you're not hungry, y'all, you're not gonna eat. So you gotta be hungry for this. You gotta be wanting to lose the weight. You, you know, you gotta need this, right? So you gotta be self-motivated because sometimes when you have partners, right, they may give up, right? So what? If they give up, you're gonna give up too? No, you gotta be self-motivated. You gotta push yourself sometimes. You gotta push yourself a little bit. You're not gonna push yourself over the limit, but you gotta push yourself a little bit. So keep reminding yourself, this is what I want, this is what I'm gonna achieve, and this is how I'm going to achieve it, y'all. Trust me, you gotta be self-motivated. If you wanna lose weight, right, you gotta expect that you gotta change your diet, change the way you eat, right? You gotta change the way you eat because it's impossible for you, I mean, it might be possible for you to eat your burgers, your fried chickens, your whatever else, you know, that adds fat to your body. It's impossible to constantly eat those and expect to lose weight, that's just, it does it just does not work right you got to change your diet for me i have fruits in the morning and then i have a meal in the evening that's at 12 noon so that is how i eat just fruits one meal that's it for the day and then i have just water that is what i do right so i'm just giving y'all one of my personal tips what i do that is what i do so your diet change is very important in weight loss and also in maintaining the weight that you wish to maintain. Okay, untaste. 
Let's keep going. Oh, by the way, this goes for both males and females, y'all. It goes for both males and females. So if you're a man, you want to lose some weight, hunty, y'all can watch this video, get some motivation, and get going. So the next thing, of course, obviously, you need to exercise, right? But personally, I do not get up every day and exercise. Like, that is just that me. I always try, though, to do my crunches at least every day maybe in the mornings or in the afternoons but not like every day getting up running around doing push-ups whatever i don't do that every day i don't do that every day right because sometimes what if you're sick right you just gotta know that hey once i recover you're just gonna get back on track right you're just gonna get back on track or if you feel that you're sick and you still want to work out you can do um small exercises like walking around because walking is also considered a exercise so incorporate that in your daily life so if you stop exercising you need to stick to something the most important thing I think you should stick to is your diet you need to stick to your diet so even if you stop exercising for a little while a week or so just stick to your diet that is one this is one of the most important tips I'm giving y'all y'all gotta stick to your diet so even if you stop exercising stick to your diet and trust me you will lose the weight the thing is sometimes you gotta start a new thing when i say start a new thing i mean like a diet or so for me i'm on a intermittent slash omad type of diet so what i do when i wake up in the morning the first thing i do is drink a bottle of water room temperature spring water I don't really like the other spring water to me is more filling and everything so I drink a bottle of room temperature water at, um, from the moment I wake up until 9 o'clock a.m. I have my first well it could be like a smoothie or if I want a solid fruits to eat it all depends on how I feel so sometimes I make a smoothie and then another time I will eat the fruits right so that's at 9 a.m. in the mornings and at 12 p.m. I have my first solid meal at 12 p.m. I have my first solid meal and after that meal at 12 p.m. I do not eat hash 12 o'clock right so after 12 o'clock all I do is drink water if I feel like I want to go and exercise I go and exercise if I want to go and watch a movie I go and watch a movie that is my diet y'all and it has worked for me it is the only diet I can sincerely say that I've ever done that has worked completely for me. Trust me, it has worked for me. If it doesn't work for you guys, all you gotta do is look for other alternatives. But for me personally, I think this, this should work for any and every body type, right? If you feel like you need to exercise more, you exercise more. But always keep hydrated. You gotta drink a lot of water right and if you are in a spot where you cannot have water there's no water you can use an alternative watermelon is a good alternative right so y'all you gotta you gotta do this you gotta have a set thing that you work on every single day not only the um the meal plans or whatever but you gotta be persistent on either intermittent fasting or med diet it doesn't matter which one try them and see which one works for you and stick to it so a lot of times persons complain about change you know like oh if I try to stop eating burgers and so I get so lousy and whatever whatever after a while your body will eventually get used to your new diet so don't use that as an excuse your body will eventually get used to your new diet and once it gets used to trust me it will be easier in the first off, it's going to be hard because, you know, it's going to be harsh on the body. But you can take your time gradually introducing certain things in your diet so it's not so harsh. But like I said, your body will get used to your new diet. Once you're persistent with it, your body will get used to it. In the end, it's going to be all smiles and, you know, kind of poses when you realize that you have been losing weight and if you are doing a certain diet or whatever for a month or so and you're not seeing any results do not panic do not panic i did this all the time in my past diets and whatever i'd be like 
how long should I be exercising and doing this to see results? Do not, do not panic, sorry. Everybody has a different body type and some takes longer, some are quicker to lose weight. So it all depends on your body type. But do not panic, y'all, because at the end of the day, you will eventually start seeing results and once you stop dropping them pounds on tay <laughs> trust me you are gonna love it you guys you are gonna love it so never give up keep working hard if this is something that you want you gotta work for it i hope that some of my daily tips some of my personal tips i have and will work for you if this is something that you want to do you can message me on my email because that's what you guys love to do Send me an email, tell me your thoughts, tell me if you want to start. I will check up on you guys individually to see how, how you guys are progressing on this journey, okay? Okay, so before I go, I'm going to put my picture here. This is my before picture. Yeah, 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 you guys. That was actually me, the starting of this year. And let's go over to here. This is me right now, Antes. This is me right now. So you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this video was anyone helpful to you, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share. And you guys, motivation is the key. Self-motivation is the key. You gotta want it. You gotta be hungry. This is your girl, Tia McPherson, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.